Obviously the back holes will match up with the horizontal tail frames. And the longer arms are all drilled already to the side skin. So I'm gonna locate the rear flange of the bearing to go on the fourth and seventh holes and I'm going to clico that in place. So it's going to share the holes of the upright and of the L behind it. And There's where our second rib goes. Our third rib and all the way through rib number six. So by labeling these rib numbers on the spar, we can also label the ribs as we install them so that when we remove them to deburr, we won't lose track of which rib goes where. And we'll move on to number three. Okay, I've clecoed the gusset back in place and clecoed it at the top flange up to the shelf and at the hole we drilled down here. That will affix it in the proper position to the center channel behind it. Now we can drill through our pre-drilled holes we just made and cleco it to the center channel. And some of the parts are easier to drill to final size if you remove them as sub-assemblies to get into some of the side flanges. And that corner we remove makes for a better fit as the firewall kind of takes a turn up there. Now we're going to begin riveting. I've assembled the front spar along with the ribs and I've left the rear spar off at this time because in some places where we need to rivet the ribs onto the spar we may have a little trouble getting our rivet gun and I'm going to use the hand riveter for some of these locations 